So the biggest question going into 2023 for the Packers is what is Jordan Love going to look like in his first year as a starter for the Packers after spending three seasons learning under Aaron Rodgers, learning Matt LaFleur's offense? What can we expect from Jordan Love in 2023? And I came across an interesting article by Sports Illustrated, Bill Huber. He was talking with um, Steve Calhoun. He has some quotes here. Steve Calhoun is Jordan Love's private QB coach. Jordan Love worked with him um, starting his freshman year of high school, and early March, he started working with him once again, working out with him. And so I want to share some quotes from Jordan Love's private QB coach to sort of share what he's seeing in Jordan Love as he prepares to take over the Packers and you know lead the team, be the starting quarterback. So here is how Love is currently handling everything going on in Green Bay from Steve Calhoun. This is from the Bill Huber Sports Illustrated article. He's handling it great, Steve Calhoun, who has coached Love since ninth grade, said recently. This is not the first year that he's heard the no- noise from him being drafted as high as he was and having a Hall of Famer in front of you. He's learned how to deal with it year by year by year. The biggest thing I talk to him about, and we both talk about, is just being able to control what you can control. That's your effort and the attitude. And one thing I love about Jordan Love is he seems to be a very humble, uh, hard worker who really is doing his best behind the scenes to really prepare for what's to come in 2023. Because, you know, besides this, the, the little interviews he's done from time to time with the Packers and um, sort of seeing him play a little bit, like we haven't heard too much from Jordan Love. He's not making any noise. He's just sort of working behind the scenes. And that's what he's done for the past three seasons. And then here is Calhoun, his coach, on how Love has looked since he started working with him in early March. He said this, he looked phenomenal. That's a credit to him because the coaching points that Coach LaFleur and the other coaches there in Green Bay are giving him, plus myself, he's actually working on those things every day, Calhoun said. When he came out on Monday and threw, he said, don't judge me, but I haven't thrown since the season ended. I've been taking some time off, letting my body heal, so don't judge me. So he comes out and starts throwing the ball, and I'm like, dude, that looks great, man. That's really exciting for me that he's taken it to heart to really focus on the details and he understands that those details allow him to be accurate and be a good quarterback. And that's one thing we saw in 2022. The game that he did come in against the Eagles looked insanely good. Um, you know, one of the Eagles players, was it uh, Darius Slay, I think it was, who said he looked like Aaron Rodgers out there. And so to sort of see the progression that Love has already made from year one to year two to year three, it's very promising. And that's why I'm honestly excited about what he could be in his first season. And then here we have an interesting note in the same article from Calhoun um, or from Bill Huber, but with Calhoun, you know, quotes from Calhoun, his coach. Um, Matt LaFleur apparently gave Jordan Love some tips following the 2021 season, which Jordan Love has worked on. And so here it is. Some of the accuracy driven details came from a to do list provided by LaFleur at the end of the 2021 season. It wasn't about Love's right arm, rather, it was about his left foot. When Jordan was stepping to throw, he was up on the ball of his left foot when he was letting the ball go. Instead of having his foot flat on the ground so you can have more balance, Calhoun explained, you have more balance through your delivery, and balance creates accuracy. He was up on the ball on his left foot, so his heel was off the ground. So his balance was a little bit off, and that would mess with his accuracy. So Love, of course, has been you know fixing all the little minute details, and even Jordan, or Aaron Rodgers himself mentioned the past season Um, you know, whether it was after preseason or sometime during the season that Jordan Love's timing is much better than it was early um, in his time here in Green Bay. And also, too, one interesting note to look at is, you know, last season, Aaron Rodgers getting quarterbacks coach Tom Clements to come back to Green Bay, I think has also probably helped Jordan Love a ton um, in this past year. And then here's his QB coach on how he looked in the game against the Eagles last season. He said this, to see him do it against the Philadelphia Eagles and they were having an unbelievable season, and they were really good on defense, to see him throw the ball like that and have that confidence, I was really excited for him, really happy for him, Calhoun said. And I think when we look at Jordan Love, we don't exactly know what the future holds. We don't exactly know, you know, what level quarterback he's going to be because it's going to take some some time and consistency. And yes, we did see that great game against the Eagles last year where he threw the ball maybe nine or ten times. But we're going to have to see it consistently. But to see the progression he's made, as I said, to see his his power, his precision, his accuracy in the time he has played. Um, you also throw in his ability to escape the pocket. Um, he's a lot younger than Aaron Rodgers is now. And so he still has that athleticism that maybe Rodgers at his age now doesn't have. Um, it has me excited for what we're going to see from Love. We still have some young, great weapons. Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon. We still have a very solid offense. And I think... You know, with whatever other pieces Brian Gutekind's plans to add to this team, whether it's a tight end of the draft, a wide receiver, whatever it is, over these next couple of seasons, 
it could take love some time to get things going to develop and grow and as the Packers you know clear out some cap space and some some dead cap over the next couple of years the Packers have a chance to build a very very young talented offense around Jordan Love Christian Watson Romeo Dobbs and um so It'll, it's going to be very interesting to watch sort of how this all goes down. And I'm I'm very, very hopeful because Love has looked very good in the time that we saw him in the past season. So feel free to comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with all Packers news. And I'll see you guys next time.